Let's head back to Accident and Emergency. Go on. For another curious case. Go on. Well, in Accident and Emergency, seven-year-old Jay goes in with his mum. Go on. I've cut my head. Right. How'd that happen? I have feet on my chair and I, and I fell back. Go on. I, I, I leaned back and because I, it, it took a long time to fall, I tried, I tried to lean forward, but... It was heavy me, so, so it tilts backwards. OK, well, let's find out more. Jago and his pal Zander were waiting patiently to play a game of squash, but they soon got bored and started climbing on their seats. Ooh, I bet they were pretending to be mountain goats, Chris. Hmm, dangerous. Or clowning around in the circus. Even more dangerous. Or maybe they were on a spacewalk. And no, Zander. Jago's seat tipped backwards and he bashed his head on the wall. Ouch! Yeah, I started screaming. Ooh. Quite dramatic. Examining Jago's bash bonds is Dr. Helen Stewart. First, Dr. Stewart does some tests to make sure that Jago's brain is functioning correctly. Good reflexes, Jago. Brain's good, but what about that noggin? Oh, sorry, that's your hair. I'm just. That's my hair. After some of Jago's hair is removed, the dog can finally see the wound. That's actually quite deep. He's got a cut that's about a centimetre and a half in length, but the edges are quite straight and come together quite nicely. So it's, it's quite deep, so I thought it might need a stitch, but actually we'll probably be able to glue the wound shut. There's a red bloody bit there. Nice hair, Jago. It's like werewolf hair. Werewolf hair? Oh! Stop it. Fixing Jago's head is sister Anna Cowlishaw. I'm quick clean. And then we'll stick it back together with glue. Quick snap for the family album. Look away if you're squeamish. The edges of Jago's wound are held together and a few spots of special skin glue are applied. Is it closed? You're done. Let's have a look. Great job, sister Anna. Jago can go home now and his head will be better in about five days. And what has Jago learned? Uh, not climbing on the back of a chair. Sounds like a really good lesson, yeah. You said it, Mum. Bye! Bye.